morning, happy Friday everybody. Uh, man, I can't wait to show you what's in front of me right now. This is my buddy Taylor. He's, he's from, uh, how do you say it? Is it Paso Robles? Paso Robles. Paso Robles, California. Uh, and uh, he brought his badass boat here to uh, play along uh, with us on the Sacramento River this weekend. So um, without further ado, tell me what this thing is. It is a 19 foot ultra shadow. That's sick. 19 foot ultra shadow, what's the motor? It's a big block Chevy at 572 with a dark block and dark heads. Yeah, that's sick. So it, uh, you know, I mean, we didn't really do much other than just tinker last night um, with it. I mean, she uh, flips the key and fires right up. Look at that thing, man. Uh, who was the guy that just did your headers again? What was his name? Uh, Matt Skills Fabrication out of Pomona, California. Yeah, he does an excellent job. Those are beautiful, man. Tell me about the pump. What's the pump? It's a fully setback dominator. What's up? A stainless A impeller, an inducer, stainless hardened shaft, the mini droop, and the diverter. Nothing too crazy. That's awesome. So I'm real curious how this thing's gonna do. Um, I don't know, we're just gonna play around. Luckily it's Friday, so uh, there shouldn't be a whole bunch of people on the water today. Uh, and looking at the trees and the brushes outside, it doesn't look like there's any wind today at all either. So this should be a fun day on the river. I'm super pumped. So, cool. We're gonna load up the ice chest, a couple of other goodies, and then we're gonna be on the road here in about, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. We'll see you on the road. Okay, we just parked the truck. I'm uh, walking down the uh, launch ramp at Discovery Park in Sacramento, California. And uh, we're gonna take this uh, Ultra for a ride today. We're gonna show our buddy Taylor uh, the way to Swabies. We'll probably uh, take him down through Old Sac, show him the Delta King, show him the Sacramento Bridge. Um, yeah, we'll just have a good time today. Maybe we'll cruise up the American, see if we've got some buddies on some big boats up there today too. This thing is sick. Hell yeah.
just got to a restaurant called Alamar. Uh, it's up the Sacramento River just below uh, the I-5 overpass. And uh, we're gonna enjoy the shade and enjoy a celebratory beverage. Cheers. Cheers. All right, so it's been about 45 minutes since you guys saw me come up here um, to get the truck and the trailer. Uh, <laughs> and it's not here. Um, the truck and trailer are literally gone. So, um, fought a police report. We had the park ranger come up and take a report from myself and Taylor. Um, yeah that's where we're at so this has officially become much more of an adventure that we intended it to be um i feel terrible for taylor i, I uh personally i can say that i've never had a vehicle um have an accident here but uh unfortunately i guess today was not the day so we've done what we can and the next thing that we need to do is figure out how to get Taylor's uh, Ultra out of the water. Bring the trailer over here with my truck, uh, which my keys got stolen in my backpack, among other things. Uh, but yeah, so I've got a second set of keys. I need to go back to my house and pick up my truck, drop the boat, pick up the trailer, come back here, pick up this boat, and um, go from there so I'll keep you guys posted I don't really know what to say at this point this is crazy so it's been a very uneventful uh, uber ride <laughs> but uh, we're here at the uh, shop again and we're gonna go over to a tunnel trailer that we have from a 17 foot spitzer that we bought about a year ago um, and uh, we're gonna hope that the trailer is wide enough to fit the Ultra on it. And if not, we may be taking something else off to make it happen. So this is the trailer here that we're gonna try to use. It's got a V-Drive on it, but it did have a 17-foot Spitzer, which essentially is a place craft um, on the boat, or on the trailer, so. We're gonna take a measurement. I took this rope here and essentially put a knot in the end of it because we didn't have a tape measure. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna try to find a way to essentially measure and see if the Ultra will fit between the bunks of this thing. And if it doesn't fit here, well, we might just be taking old Mac Daddy off of her trailer, unfortunately, today. So we'll see. One of these two trailers has to work here.
<clears throat> we're back at the shop. <clears throat> Boat's here. She's safe. Everybody's fine, except for Mac Daddy, unfortunately. <laughs> but you know what? It's okay. We had a friend that was in dire need of some help, and sometimes you just do what you gotta do without thinking or questioning it, you know? Um, I can't believe that my hometown let us down like it did. I mean, Sacramento, I'm disappointed in you for that. Um, but you know, unfortunately, that's just the world that we live in nowadays. There's just scum everywhere. Um, but you know, we're gonna make lemonade with lemons, if, I guess is how they say it, or something like that. Um, so, you know, we're gonna potentially take her out again tomorrow. I mean, there's no reason then, then to not. I mean, the weather's beautiful and she is sitting on a trailer that is uh, functional. Um, but uh, right now, I think Taylor and I are gonna go grab some food and a beer and just off gas and de-stress because man, what a day. I do like the boat though. It is pretty awesome. Okay, we're back at the shop. It's about 11 o'clock uh, Friday night and everything is fine. The boat's on a trailer that, that uh, fits, it's out of the water and it's back in the garage where it needs to be safe and sound. Um, so, you know, although we were dealt some really bad cards today, we worked with what we had and we made it work, right? Uh, and, and everything is fine for the most part, right? <clears throat> so, she's sitting on uh, Mac Daddy's uh, trailer, which is an 18-foot Mach 1 tunnel jet. Uh, that is a Mod V tunnel boat. Uh, not necessarily a true tunnel like a TPR or a Cheyenne and Ultra or like a Eliminator Daytona would be um, So it kind of fit weird on the trailer. There were some spots that were very questionable They were real close that we just didn't want to take chances on like here and on the other side of the Sponson <clears throat> so we uh, put some extra padding or reinforcement on there uh, and then even in the front, like I said, the shapes of this boat and the uh, Mach 1, Mac Daddy, are entirely different, so our floater bar did not work either. So we did what we had to do. Um, so what's next? Well, Taylor goes home tomorrow morning. He's got a friend coming up to pick him up and take him home. And uh, his baby's going to stay with me, and we're going to do some stuff to her. Uh, we're just gonna make her more badass and continue to fine-tune and tweak on it until it is a hundred percent where we want it to be um, So stick around if you liked what you saw today and watched and and heard uh, Hit the like and subscribe button leave a comment and also if you recognize the truck that you saw today uh, And the trailer that this boat was on originally reach out Whoever, however, reach out. Let us know where this thing is. Um, you know, we're not giving up hope all the way. But definitely don't forget to like and subscribe because we want you to stay in touch with us when we show you the next video that we have. So enjoy the night, and uh, I guess we'll see you next time. Cheers.